Hey everyone, this is my first video on the Pascal language and today I'll be giving you an intro to the Pascal language using the compiler Easy Pascal. In this video I will also be showing you how to print using two functions, the write and the write ln function. So let's get started. Up here are just some views on how you can view your program. This is where you, this is your input, the, your input box. This is both your in your output box up here and your input box this is your input box down here and this is just a blank space and I guess it's just a blank space too down here is com what I like to use is both of them so I can actually see as I'm going on how the, how the program is, is, is coming about um, here is compile what compile does is that it is it checks to see if there are any errors or if there or if your program is actually written in the proper format that your computer can understand. Run is simply running your program. Run, pause, stop, pause, step. Step is just going step by step by step in your programs. So first what you need to do is name your program. You need to give your program a name. So what we name a program is program first underscore one semicolon. Whenever you're writing in, whenever you're writing a program, you need to always end every section with a semicolon. This prevents all, everything to, from being jumbled, and it makes it much much easier for the computer or the compiler to understand. So we name our programs. Oh, and you also cannot have spaces in your name. That's why I just put and underscore instead of a space. So now we come down here and we go and we write begin. What begin actually does is says okay here's what going here's what's gonna happen. After this is where you start and you start showing everything that I put in. So after begin is where the program officially begins. After begin, you don't need to put the semicolon, so you just continue there. Um, another thing, these here, you don't need to put anything all caps or caps or anything like that. As long as you have them there, the computer the, or the compiler will recognize them. You don't need to skip two lines, you can go right to the next line also. I just like skipping lines for my own to be more organized. So, we begin. Now that we've begun, now that we've begun, you write first I'll be showing you the write function write function this function what this function does is just writes what you put into the program onto the screen and displays it so what I'll do here is, is type write space and I'll open brackets this open brackets starts what is going to be printed on screen no, I'm sorry. Not the open brackets. Open brackets, uplifted commas, like there. This is where you start. This is where whatever is, be is between these two. Yeah, which whatever is between this, it will be printing. So what I can write here is what we know of "Hello World." Then we end with our uplifted commas and our bracket we end also not forgetting our semicolon down here we go to end what end actually does is that it ends our program it ends what was just now done with end with a full stop and with a full stop here it actually says okay after this once the once the program sees this it, it says okay well that's everything and there's nothing else for me to do Later on, you'll find out that you can actually put end with a comma. That actually states that, okay, this particular section in the whole program has finished, and then it can continue. But right now, we're just dealing with the full stop. So now, what I can do is press compile. You see, down there, compile successful. Once you see compile successful, it says, okay, well, your program is ready to run. There's no errors, and it's okay. So what we do is press run. You see, hello world is printed. Hello world is printed. Next, what we can do is 
use the write ln, the write ln function. What the write ln function does is it's actually pretty similar to the write function. Only thing it just goes into another line as there is ln next line. It goes into the next line and continues whatever has to be done. So what I can do here is probably change the input here and put um hey welcome to my first video. That is what I can write. And then I can change in front here from right ln to no from sorry right from right from right to right ln. Then I go to the next line and I write right because there's nothing else for me to write so I just put in right right thanks for watching as you can see here what will be ha what will happen here is that when the com when the compiler sees ln it says okay when I'm finished doing this the colon the colon goes into the next line and continues the process so when I press compile here compile successful it says okay here's what you now finish you now compile and it's okay to run and I press run see there hey welcome to my first sorry first my first video thanks for watching as you can see in front here there's a space because I left the space in front there if you don't want that space, all you can do is backspace, backspace that space, and you can run again, and you can see the space is gone. What happens is when you don't have all the things you need in your in your program, this you can have an error like this. Compile, and you see this is expected. What it actually means is that just before the highlighted word or part of the program, it needs the semicolon. So what I do is just come back here and put in the semicolon, compile compile run and it's running thanks for watching and I will update some more videos